What, you ready? Well, Christmas present? Oh, you just took it, here, buddy. Hey, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. It is Christmas Eve. I still have two things that I need to make for my cats and my dogs, and they're super easy DIYs. You do not have to have a sewing machine. If you do have a sewing machine, um, these projects will take maybe about 15 minutes a piece. If you sew them by hand, they may take about 30. You can use them for your cats or your dogs, um, and you can use both for your ferrets. The only thing I will say is with the cat toy, if you're gonna use it for your ferrets, please do not include catnip. Ferrets cannot play with catnip. You would just leave that out. So without further ado, let's just jump into the video. Okay, you guys, so for this project, you're gonna need to grab some scraps of fabric or you can buy fabric. I'm using scraps of, um, Let's see, this is flannel cotton, so it's really soft. So, or you could just use regular cotton, or you could even use fleece, it's completely up to you. So I'm gonna use my scrap piece of fabric. Um, I'm gonna be using some crinkle paper, which is, it's, you can buy it like this. You can actually use, um, some people use cereal bags. You got kind of options with crinkle paper, basically anything that crinkles. But if you wanna use the official crinkle paper, this is kind of what it looks like. I'll put a link in the description. Um, it makes like this noise. I am also going to use Velcro. I am going to be using catnip for the toys that are for the cats, but not the ones for the ferrets. So only the cat toys will get the um, catnip. And this is optional. You're going to want some pins, some scissors, and something to write with, and a ruler. So that is kind of what you're going to need. All right, so first you're going to want to start by cutting yourself um, some fabric. Just two pieces facing right sides together, but you are going to take each piece, you're gonna fold it back like this, about, I don't know, a, you want it at least as wide as your Velcro. So we'll just, I'll just say that, a little bit wider. So about, a, about an inch maybe. But the right sides folded over the back. You're gonna take your Velcro, put them in the center here, pin this in place or whatever, however you wanna do it kind of make sure that they are kind of in the same position on both so that they line up when you're done. And we're going to stitch all the way around your Velcro. You want to cut off any of your strings. I made five of these, so um, that's why I have so many, but. If you want to add this, which is also optional, you're going to want to make this on just on one side and you're going to want it to be bigger, about a quarter of a half an inch bigger than, than the piece of fabric. And you don't, you don't want it up, up here. So just not where the Velcro is, so below it. And what you need to do is you're going to sew this on and you want to sew the edges to the edges. So basically when you're done, you're, you're gonna have it look like this. It's gonna be puffed up in the center. That's what makes it crinkle. If you make it flat, it's not gonna crinkle. So you have to make, make match your edges of your crinkle paper to the edges of your fabric and stitch it in place. All right, so now you should have something that looks kind of like this or like this, the same thing. So basically you want it kind of puffy. Grab the piece that matches it. You're gonna lay them right sides facing together with the Velcros facing um, back to back like this. Pin it in place. And you're going to sew down all the way around. Do not sew the Velcro. You're gonna sew the sides of the Velcro, but you're just not gonna sew the top all the way shut. So um, that's what we're gonna do. All right, I wanted to give you guys some ideas. So I didn't, I put crinkle, some of them, like I made one without crinkle, not all cats like crinkle, but if you wanted to do something fun and you wanted to have like a variation, um, just to kind of add some pizzazz to your toy, um, I used these to make face masks, but if you, these are just rubber, like little bands. Um, I'm going to, Stitch these to the, um, like this, so that the insides, I'm gonna take off the plastic. Um, I'm gonna stitch it down so that when we flip it inside out, these will be hanging out. 
I'm gonna do that for this one. I'm gonna take off these little plastic pieces um, just because we don't need them. But what you wanna make sure you do is that you put whatever you're gonna have hanging out on the inside of your fabric because if not, it won't work. Make sure you don't uh, stitch it on both sides. So tuck it like this. Um, and then we're gonna tuck this like this. If you don't have those, you could always use yarn. Um, that's really fun. You could just take some yarn unwrap yourself some yarn, or if you have some, um, you could create little pom-poms and hang them off of there, or you could just really just do something like this. You wanna just wrap it around your hand like this. Make a little hoop. Get a longer piece. And I would leave it like this for now. You can cut it later. And then you can stick this in there. And you wanna make sure these kinda of hang. You can even have them hang out the sides um, so that you know that you're stitching them. Like this, put them, put them like this. Now you're gonna to wanna to pin this in place nice and tight. And make sure that you pin these down so when you you sew the over them and you're going to want to kind of back stitch over these parts um, and then you're just going to stitch down all the way around i'm going to add some i'm going to add some to these two for my boys okay so now you have these ready to go so let's check this one out um i would say you don't have to really worry about trimming off the excess no one is going to see it but you're you really um we will trim off these threads and then you're just going to turn it inside out So what you can, you can either leave it like this, so it's crinkly, or you can fill it with catnip. If you don't want to fill the whole thing with catnip, just partial, you can fill it with some stuffing. I'm going to put some catnip in these, is what we're going to do. For this next project, we're going to be making a toy for both of my dogs. We're going to make two of these, and we're going to be using a pattern by, it's called by Stitches and Love. I'll put a link in the description. Um, we're gonna be making them a ball. Uh, they both really just like stuffed toys, I don't know. So first you're gonna cut out your pattern. All right, so you need six of these. Six pieces, right sides facing together. What you're gonna do, you're gonna take it to the sewing machine and you're gonna sew each of these pieces just down one side so just from this tip all the way down from this tip all the way down and from this tip all the way down okay so now you have um your pieces and they kind of look like this so this is how they should look all of them and what you want to do now is you want to take two of your pieces and you want to put them right sides together matching up your seams also match up the edges so you want to match up your, your seams and one of your edges just one side i'm just gonna so i can show you guys exactly what i'm doing i'm just gonna put some little clips here so you can see so you're going to sew from this to this and you're going to leave this open. Okay, so now after you've done that, you should have this. So now you want to again take the remaining two pieces that are sewn together and you want to put it, match up your seams. Make sure you're matching up your seams um, the best that you can. And we are going to match up the edges of both sides. This 
we are going to, so you should have something that looks like this. You're going to stitch all the way from here to here, completely closed. And then on this remaining side, you're going to stitch from here to about here and from here to about here. You're going to leave this open. Don't stitch that. Okay, so once you've done that, you should have a hole in the in one side that's pretty little. And you're going to basically take your hole that you have, flip your ball um, right side out, and then you're going to try to just take your hand, your fingers, and poke, you know, just make sure you got everything puffed out. So now you should have like kind of like a flat ball. Um, and then what we're going to do is we are going to fill it with stuffing. Um, if you have any squeakers or you have any old toys that are no longer really any good that you want to take the squeakers out of, I know I have a million and you want to squeak, stick a squeaker in there, um, you can do that. Grab yourself some batting and you're just going to make it kind of small and you're just going to pretty much stuff this, um, both of these. And we're gonna st stitch this one shut. All right, so get yourself a needle and thread. And you're going to do what's called a ladder stitch. Now, how you do a ladder stitch is you wanna make sure that you're, just tuck your little seams under. You're gonna wanna take your needle and thread. You're gonna go up underneath this right here. And pull your thread through. All right. What you need to do is you need to go across from each each stitch across from each other. So we're gonna go like I will show you. You want to take your thread. You're gonna grab the out just a little bit of the fabric, just a tiny bit like this. Now you're going to go directly across over here and do the same thing. But you want to be directly across from it. You want to create, you want it to look like the ring, the rungs of a ladder. And then you'll do it again. And you'll do it again. The stitching, it will hide the stitching. So if you notice when I pull this, tight the stitching sort of disappeared and there you have your two balls okay you guys I hope you enjoyed these DIYs it is officially Christmas because it is now December 25th it is about 12 or 1 o'clock in the morning so thank you for staying with me thank you for watching the video if you enjoyed it please click the like button if you're not subscribed please subscribe to my channel have a happy holiday um, I will see you next time now you go get two of them. Love it. You love it. Okay. Let me see that cute face. Oh, you're so cute. Give it to mama. Let me see. Let me see. You little nut. You little nut.